Hey folks, we're answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community. And today I will be going over how to configure your application to go to a sign up prompt instead of login. Now to demonstrate that I've just downloaded the quick start from our documentation page, I went ahead and downloaded the React project, and here's a download. It's a fresh vanilla download of the project from the website. As you can see, it is running. It's currently configured with logging on. When I click on that login button, it goes straight to the login page to go sign up. I'll need to do a little extra click to go to sign up. We're going to try and do today is just create another button right there called sign up so that our users have next option to go straight to sign up for the single click. Now we just need to make a couple of code changes to make that happen in our project. Let's check the documentation as to what's required to the sign up section. As you can see here, all we need to do is add an additional property called screen underscore hint sign up. So when our application gets redirected to slash authorize, it's got this additional instruction to go straight to the sign up page. Let's go ahead and make that change now. So I need to go to the source components navbar. And here's the existing log and functionality. Copy that and just go ahead and create a signed version of it. So give an idea of sign up. Give it a label. Call that sign up. Go to our application and you can see we've got an additional sign up by default that's going to go to our login functionality. You have to make a change here to get this to go to the sign up page. To do that, we're going to have to add some additional authorization parameters. So we give it the instruction to go to use the screen underscore hint property and go to our sign up page. So this is what this looks like. We're passing some additional authorization parameters, call, screen, underscore, hint. And I'm telling the application right here to go to the sign up page. So when someone clicks this button, let's give that a quick test. So here's our application that we go straight to sign up. Excellent. Now this is using the universal login new experience. Well, how about if I was using the classic version? Let's switch that over. Let's go back to my tenant. And as you can see, we are currently using the new universal login experience. Let's switch it over to classic. And go ahead and save that change. And then click confirm. So now it's configured to use classic universal login. We're going to have to customize the login page a little bit further for this one. Let's go ahead and switch to toggle on to customize that login page. What we are going to do first is look where the lock configuration is. There it is right there. I'm going to add a new variable to grab the sign up behavior. So I'm taking advantage of the extra parameters. When you see an incoming parameter called screen underscore hint, it's set to sign up, so that's correct. And there's an additional property that we need to set as well for the initial screen.
So let's go to the lock configuration. Scroll down to the bottom. So the initial screen, if it said sign up, will you sign up otherwise log in? That should be everything that we need to do on the classic side of things. Click the save changes button. Excellent. Let's go back to our app. Let's just refresh the page. Do a quick check on what this looks like so we hit sign up as the classic interface and we've gone straight to sign up link. That's exactly what we wanted. In this video, we learned how to redirect users to sign up instead of log in. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content and find us at community.auth0.com. Thanks.